All right, guys. Just to let you know, my name is Steve Stone. I'm uh, happy to be part of the research and development, along with uh, Mark Hunsaker, and be able to try out new things that he gets to do. And so, what you're looking at right here is oh, I don't know what we'd call this thing really right now. It's it's a basket to uh, cook just about anything, and it's multi-purpose. Uh, today we're going to try it with a uh, pork shoulder. It's been deboned, a competition cut, and right now it is already ready to put in. So I want to show you how this thing works. So just give me a second, and we'll get this pork butt. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this thing right in here first. This is three inches deep right here. I don't know if you can see this or not. So what we'll do is we'll put that in first, and then we've got another piece that will sit on top of it and we will press against it and what we're going to do is this basket right here will hang inside of the Hunsaker Vortex cooker. So give me just a minute, I'll be right back and we will get that put in. Okay, welcome back guys. So what we've got here is we've got an eight pound pork shoulder. This thing has been competition cut. So right here you'll see we have the money muscle group. We have a few tubes right here. This is the center white meat that's right in there, and you, we only keep that in there because it's connective tissue to get us all the way back here where the good horn meat and everything is. And what we've got is we've got this thing stretched out, and it's 14 inches long. After everything's stretched out, it's a full 14 inches. And you can see right here, it's gonna take up probably two to two and a half inches of this three inch basket. Now, what we're gonna do to hang this thing vertically, is I've got another piece of expanded metal and that will sit down right on top of this and you can see it's going to hold it nice and tight right there but to hold this thing in there we've got a rod that will slide in And we'll pressure that down to where we can slide that the rest of the way in and down through it. So now, this pork has no choice but to stay inside there. We can lift this basket up and everything has stayed in place. Both sides. We're gonna go check this thing out. We're gonna put it on the smoker and see how this thing works. So join me in just a minute and we will put this thing on there and let you see it. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna give this thing a try. We got the smoker up to 275. We'll open this thing up. We got some cherry wood going in here. So what we do is we're just gonna stick this down here. We've got this uh, peace sign right here. It's uh, nothing like hanging peace. Yeah. So that slits, sits right down the slot right there. We're going to let it go. Um, I'm figured probably about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. She ought to be ready to start the wrap. So we'll see y'all back in a little bit. Wish me luck. Hey guys, it's been an hour and a half. We've uh, we've kept this. It's running about 157 degrees right now. We've been cooking at 275 to 300. And you say it just see it just stayed right here. Look how juicy that is. Look at the pretty caramelization we have. We didn't do anything special to it. I mean, there's no injection in it or anything. This is just nice, pretty meat. So, we'll take this and set it down on the table and pull this apart so we can have a better look at it. I wish I could get my thumbs in here a little bit easier with these gloves, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Holy that is cow. pretty. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And smells awesome. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at the money muscle right there. It's got a nice pretty mahogany color to it. And that was at the top. And the bottom of the cage right here is your horn muscle and everything and there probably wasn't three degrees difference between the two 
so you can see that the vortex works so well with this and just being able to do a whole pork shoulder like that boneless we're going into the wrapping stage right now so if you give us a couple minutes we'll be right back we're going to get a pan going here and we'll go ahead and get this thing wrapped and ready to go back in all right so uh now you can see that we've got this thing put in the pan right here and we put a little more rub on top of it put a little apple juice in it we're going to throw the foil over it and then we're going to set it back on the grill and it'll sit there for probably about another hour and we'll we'll be done and we'll let you see what it looks like when it's done all right guys um, it's been another hour so we've got a total time of two and a half hours on this cook and when's the last time you cooked a pork shoulder in two and a half hours pretty ridiculous isn't it we tempted it it came out to uh 203 degrees which is going to be about the time that we want to pull it for this we're not looking to uh shred it up we would still like to be able to slice it and everything but uh let's see what this thing looks like And just to let you know, it's 36 degrees out here. It's nice and chilly on a late November day. There you go. We have all kinds of juices in there. This thing looks as tender as can be. I'll get some gloves on here in a second. We'll pull a piece out or two and we'll get it sliced up. And we'll just see what this thing tastes like. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. So we'll see you back in a minute. All right. Well, got gloves on and everything. We're going to... See if we can get some of this separated here. That is extremely warm. So, money muscle group right here. Just uh, see if we can get some chunks out of this and see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Come in a little closer right here. I want to show you this. Like I said, I did not inject this. Look at that juice that's in there. That is nothing but flavor. Oh yeah. Wow. It's pretty amazing what you can do on a Hunsaker smoker. Go out and get your own. Thanks. <laughs>